Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. TNT, the INO, M-I-G-H-T, and we are here today with a man who needs no introduction. He is a, a beautiful man, an exquisite man. Ooh. Uh, a man with a 10-inch dick. I have known him since I was 13 years old. <laughs> we have breathed the same air. We grew up in the same neighborhood. We went to the same school. We have had sex with the same animals. I present to you <laughs> my motherfucking man. I consider him brother, and you better consider him the same. Zach. What's up, Internet? <laughs> all right well thanks everybody for joining us today on the crazy town podcast uh make sure to go to the crazy town.com thanks to us youtube channel so you can subscribe like share do all that stuff and uh welcome uh welcome zach same uh same for me all that he said except for minus the animals part <laughs> yeah except for this one oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, wait what's what's the dog's name can we know yeah, the dog's this, name? Is, this is nibbles Nibbles. Oh. Nibbles. Is it just a clever name or is or, it uh... No, she she likes to nibble things. I, oh, I mean enough. I see that. She also she also doubles as a uh, solo flex or bow flex, whatever <laughs> Chuck Norris was selling that week. Oh, Wait a minute, you so you use you the dog as weekly? workout equipment? <laughs> I kinda have to. She don't give you much oh. of a choice. All fair. right, all right, fair enough, fair enough. So, <clears throat> yeah, here we are. This is a elusive appearance of Zach on the internet. He has basically, for the entire existence of the internet, no internet presence. So this is a rare treat for the internet. It should yeah, be... Don't, uh, don't try to check me on TikTok <laughs> or... Uh... <laughs> Or Twitter or Facebook or wherever, because I'm not there. Well, in, in all actuality, you are probably the only person in I know that has never had MySpace, Facebook, like any of that stuff for any kind of extended period of time at all. I know. Yeah, I know one other person, but we're a rare breed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't really use much of that stuff either anymore, but I have had it at times in the past for sure. So. Yo, can I can I just say one thing is that I am absolutely astonished and delighted to see that Zach is still sporting the same fucking haircut that I knew <laughs> <laughs> from fucking years ago. Yeah, I, I stay consistent. The, the beard, the beard is still just as lush. And the, the Mohawk with the Superboy is still going on. The Superboy? Wait, hold on. For the people who are listening on Spotify or iTunes, what the hell is a Superboy? It's right here. Yeah. Yeah. I separated a little bit for you. Oh, it's are. like a Mohawk that is down? It's called the Superboy? No, it's just like, now the uh, the front desk curl. The Superman. Oh, S the Razor Ramon. You got the little Razor Ramon curl I'm, going on. I'm, uh, I'm Superman's, like, punk kid. Yeah, dude. I don't want to listen. Like, no, Dad. <laughs> I'm getting so up, Dad. Literally. Oh, I'm gonna go to Krypton, Dad. F you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. Mm -hmm. So I love it. Well, I guess, uh, I guess, let's jump right into it, shall we? So, uh, I saw a story. It comes from, I believe, it is New Zealand, the Otago Daily Times. So I guess over in there, Greyhound racing is pretty popular. And, uh, you know, there's a, I guess there's a little bit of a scandal going on in Greyhound racing. So I'm going to put it up on the screen so you guys can see that. What are they, what are they doing to the dogs? The winning Greyhound tested positive for meth. <laughs> <laughs> now, Zach, do you give your dog meth? Race. What? Would you give your dog meth? No, she don't need it. <laughs> In fact, nope. make your first CBD treats to try to calm her down. It does nothing. <laughs> oh. So, but here's the part I think that really, I guess, messed me up. So they find out a Greyhound trainer's been disqualified for, for they've been disqualified. They got suspended four months and fined $3,500 for giving a dog methamphetamines. Wow. In the U.S., that's, you would like get, you would get arrested for animal cruelty. Like, oh, yeah. giving a dog drugs? And they're considering, like, canceling dog races altogether because I guess this is a widespread problem. So, like, I don't, I don't understand 
they said the dog won four thousand dollars. So you're willing to give your dog meth to win four K? I mean, the dog's <laughs> okay, right? I mean, I, how, however okay you can be on meth. I'm not for, like, giving dogs meth or anything, but I'm just saying, like, yeah, I mean. So would you, would you if you had to, like, race an animal, would you would you give it no. some meth? No. No, probably not. Probably not, no. <laughs> what, about not would you give, what about roids? Would you give him the dog roids? Oh, well, roids, definitely. That just makes him jacked. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. Greyhound comes that only like a pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I think it's kind of Greyhound rolls up like, let's go. <laughs> Ready to race. Exactly. He just like rips the leg off the dog next to him. He's yeah, like, now you can't win. <laughs> By any means necessary. <laughs> right. Race. Well, the thing that's kind of messed up is like, so the dog, the dog was on meth. It won four thousand dollars, <laughs> and it was only penalized. They were only penalized thirty five hundred dollars, so they still ended up plus five hundred bucks for the race. They didn't even take all the winnings. How many other winnings does this dog have? Meth, meth juice rolling through his veins. This doesn't sound like a solid business plan, any way you look at it. <laughs> even if you're, even if you're on the up and up, you're getting four grand, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, you have to subtract the meth costs. And I don't know yeah, what the knows how much that mess is. Right, and how do you feed a dog with no teeth? He <laughs> <laughs> use the, the, the squishy food. Oh, yeah, you grind it up and just baby bird it to him? Sure. Yeah, yeah, or, or like wet food. Yeah, it's wet food. if you're <laughs> willing to give just, the dog meth, you're willing to just baby gums bird it. it to him. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> That's pretty weird, man. I, I, and not to mention it, it, it is animal cruelty. Um uh yeah i didn't realize that like i guess i never thought about like drugs would have the same effect on animals as it would on like us i guess like so i guess c coke is probably too expensive to give to the dog to win because then yeah, you're, you're cutting into that. your winnings oh, at that point. Right with that. say it one more time said you could just shake up some meth into one of the dog stalls real quick and give it to him there you don't need to <laughs> pay too much for that yeah, yeah exactly. I guess it, that's true. it says here, since January, eight dogs have died and more than 300 have been injured in a result of these greyhound races. Wait, how do you get injured by meth? I don't know. I don't think it's the meth. By doing it? I think just, yeah, yeah right? <laughs> meth doesn't injure <laughs> you. Does you does it for you? meth and get a broken leg. I don't know. <laughs> well, no, not directly. <laughs> Maybe they just run so hard they tear the ligaments in their in their legs because they're just like. But like, what? Why? Why don't Olympic runners do meth then? If it makes them faster and stronger, because they drug test. They get caught. Yeah, they drug test pretty hard at the Olympics. Okay, I mean me, they okay. they do do what they can do. They blood dope and shit like that. But... Oh yeah, that's true. Because give that extra oxygenated blood into their system and stuff, Zach. I've I've all said the past, and TNT thinks this is a terrible idea. What if you? What do you personally think if they had alternative sports leagues where they they didn't do any drug testing? You didn't have to do steroids or drugs, but See, you could I've do heard. anything you wanted. I've heard this from you many times. <laughs> bad idea, dude. It's and I've all idea. I've usually kind of just agreed. You, you <laughs> I, I expect you to fucking agree. <laughs> like take uh, take fighting. You got your MMA league over here that they have to be absolutely clean, no uh, no PEDs, nothing. But then you have this league over here no. where it's like, all right, you can get as juiced as you want. They're all just a bunch of jacked monsters fighting each other. Right, dude. Or like they have a baseball right. league, and if so you want to. on equal planes. They're right. not on equal planes because they're killing themselves with the narcotics <laughs> that they're pumping through the hey, system. That's their choice. Right. It's not their choice because they can fight in that, that league, league. They can you just have go to fight do the it. clean league. No, no, they can't no. do the clean league. Wait, no, no, no. In the steroid league, it's not required. It's it just they league. just don't drug test, so you can do whatever you want. No, you sign because up to fight. 
No, listen, because the minute that you say this is the standard, you don't have to drug test, the minute that one person does steroids, everybody's going to have to do steroids to compete with that person. And then they're going to be like, oh, well, I have to be better than the person that's doing steroids. So let me do more steroids, super steroids. And then you have baseball pitchers throwing 160 miles an hour and people hitting (laughs) home runs that go like 700 yards. (laughs) The outfield walls are like 800 yards deep, dude. They can run and jump and catch them like Superman. The thing is that people are going to keep chasing the thing the next big thing so they're going to be like what can i put in my body let me just inject horse semen in myself because that'll <laughs> wow. give me like horse strength that escalated very quickly would, that's exactly what would happen in a league where there's no rules uh, that would escalate yeah, I mean, very quickly I, I am not saying what you're suggesting would not happen but they all sign waivers they're all free it's like if you have gladiator fights with like people with life sentences, man. Like people can't be trusted because desperation and greed of money is already a very alluring factor. So I, I feel like as soon as you give somebody the opportunity to do it at the risk of their own health, that they're just going to put their own health on the wayside. And then you're going to have people like dropping dead from heart attacks on the field. And you're going to be like, well, you signed a waiver. And people are going to be like, wait a minute. We're going to cancel this shit. Yeah, see, the problem would be the Juice League would end up being the popular one that you're everyone right. would want to go into. Exactly. And the Clean League would be a niche market thing for purists exactly. that want to be right. like, combat sports or whatever. <laughs> you get exactly. like the, the boomers are like, I want to go see a man throw 87 mile an hour fastball. And you're in like, the kids are like, give me the rocket. Like, you know, it's like, it's just, <laughs> it's like, it's like NASCAR when people just want to see a car crash. People are just going to tune into the, the no frills league just to see somebody die. They're going to be like, oh, I wonder if he's going to have a heart attack in this pitch. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, you could do auto racing with no brakes. Yeah, see, <laughs> while I see all the inherent flaws, I still agree <laughs> we should just have two leads. Oh, my God. Well, you're, <laughs> you're a sociopath, so I expect that <laughs> But hey, oh, listen, bit. okay? Here's a the little. deal. Here's the deal. If if you're not good enough to make the clean NFL and you could make a third of the money and do something you love and not have any regulations, you could be a cokehead, you could be a steroid user, you could be, you know, whatever, dude, HGH, and you can play football for a living, you're giving the same risk the other guys are giving, but you're just juicing on your own accord. We literally just watched the dark side of the ring with the guy who was like, I was doing coke and I threw the guy off the fucking scaffolding and I hoped he died. <laughs> we literally just watched that. And now you have a league full of people oh. who's like, fuck it, I hope he dies. Zach, do you have Hulu by chance? Uh, yeah, actually, I think dude, I do. Dude, one of those dark side of the rings is about New Jack. You know who New Jack is, right? New the old Jack. ECW guy who would like, he was the old... Uh, he was he was the guy that like yeah WWF back in the day. Oh, uh, but yeah. Anyways, it, it yeah at one point he was like yeah I was high on cocaine. He's like yeah I threw him <laughs> off. I thought he was gonna die. I was like oh my god. He yeah, I insane. knew you were talking about wrestling as soon as you said that. Yeah, he's fucking That's insane. wrestling. <laughs> yeah, he's right. Insane. So you're just you're just welcoming a bunch of insane people trying to kill each other. It's not gonna. Well, they gotta make a living. <laughs> right. Are they gonna be a grocery I mean, store clerk and be insane? That's not gonna work. <laughs> I'm not going to keep that job for more than a week. Fair enough. Right. Fair enough. Some people sell their private parts for money. Other people will boost up their muscles by via illegal means for money to get better. We're just trying to get get you to... It's never going to happen because it's a bad idea. <laughs> You're like, I love humanity. I am not going to encourage... No, I, fuck, no, fuck humanity. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just think it's a bad... I just don't think it would work. Like, as oh. far as entertainment, I agree with you. It would be great to watch a bunch of roided out fucking cokeheads just fucking <laughs> snorting meth and injecting heroin and then running out there and just ripping each other's arms out. Yeah, okay, wow. I'm a man. I agree. <laughs> but it wouldn't last longer than a week before people were like, this is fucking barbaric and insane. And then you'd be brought up on charges. It has to be done in like Thailand or something <laughs> where they were. <laughs> Thailand. I don't need you looking up a market for your unethical fucking <laughs> league of insane 
drug users. We couldn't do it in the U.S. Where, where is it? We do it on a platform in the ocean. Oh we have martial, God. we have maritime well, we have law. Fight Island. We could just rent Fight Island from UFC. <laughs> <Fight> Island. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> just rent Fight Island. So, anyways, all right. Anyways, like changing. Lolita Island. Cha what? Nothing. <laughs> Ch changing topics this is a real quickie so you know the online dating has become you know quite popular out there um there was a recent story i saw that came out this week that uh, a man met with a girl and he was like he was like this girl's pretty hot we, we connect you know he was trying to impress her so what did he do he told her all about how he was he stormed the capital and made it into the made it in during the riots back in january to which she replies, oh, I guess we don't match, and then immediately turned him into the FBI, and he was arrested for being part of the Capitol riots. I was like, oh. Yeah, I just seen <laughs> something on that, I think, a day or two ago, in fact. Yeah, he was, uh, yeah, like, I don't, but here's my thing, it's like, that's how you're going to try to win over the heart of a woman? Be like, yeah, I was in the Capitol, girl, don't you worry. <laughs> I mean, Zach, you were there at the Capitol riots. Um, well, could you tell me only in spirit? Allegedly. Can you tell me what 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 drove you to break into Nancy Pelosi's office? Oh, well, you know, in Obama's America, you, know, <laughs> you had to make a change. And oh wait, what? <laughs> oh, but so does anyone here have a have a horror dating story from online dating? That from like you met a chick and she was crazy as f or oh yeah uh, oh please do tell do See, tell I, I met my fiance on uh plenty of fish so right you don't get to there without wading through a couple uh couple of not so winners wait, wait hold on a second is this is this a breaking news story did i just hear you say fiance yeah, did I not tell you guys I'm getting married? <laughs> <laughs> We're so close. <laughs> this guy's like my brother. Wait, I'm getting. I forgot to tell you guys I'm getting married. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. I've, I've always known that he's a one one woman type of guy. <laughs> but in any so, case, to awesome. Get congratulations. There, Anyways, yeah. Oh yeah. Pl especially was, on plenty of fish. Yeah, yeah. Plenty of fish is it's free for a reason. The reason they charge you for match. Match without all the. Uh, the underbelly scrumblings before you can get to them. <laughs> yeah. They're like, listen, you don't want to pay to weed through the crap. That's fine. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. So I <laughs> met up with this back when I was living out in Cali and met up with this chick in uh, San Francisco. And uh, I was like, all right, where am I picking you up at? She's like, oh, pick me up here in front of this methadone clinic. So I'm like, <laughs> oh. all right, sure. See where this goes. <laughs> so I'll pick this chick up. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> the thing smart. is, if that wasn't an automatic no, <laughs> right? That, that was like that was you, you weren't like, hmm, maybe I should cancel this date. You're like, this could be fun. He saw the red flag and was like, no, that might be burgundy. Hey, you know how I roll. I kind of just uh, go with the wind and see where it takes me. <laughs> fair, fair enough. Fair enough. But, uh, anyway. So unfortunately, it took me to this broad. <laughs> and, uh, I picked her up, and then uh, we immediately just down the street a little bit. We pull over to the side and roll up a blunt and uh, do that. And then we just drive around for a while, and she's like, oh, let's go to the bar. I'm like, oh, wait, no. I got ahead of myself. Before that, <laughs> she's like, oh, let's stop, at a, uh, let's stop at a gas station or something so I can get some uh, water. And I really got to go to the bathroom. I'm like, oh, all right, cool, whatever. So I stop at one. And then she runs in real quick, grabs like a water, and she's like, all right, their bathroom's out of order. So uh, open your door and uh, keep out a watch. I'm like, keep <laughs> out okay. a watch. Yeah. Oh, hold on. So what? <laughs> Uh -huh. You've known this woman in person for like 30 minutes and she's pissing out the car door next to you? Uh, not even. But out the car door, it was most. It was more just squatting in just the, in just in the middle of a parking lot, in broad daylight, in San Francisco. <laughs> and you, but you've literally have only known her in person for like thirty minutes. Yeah, well, not even that long, but yeah, basically. 
<laughs> I was just like, all oh. right, sure. Open the door, just kind of stand out. <laughs> and uh, then we got back in the car. And then she's like, oh, let's go to a bar. And I was like, I looked at the clock. I'm like, it's 1030 in the morning. <laughs> like, yeah, so I'm like. All right, fuck it. Let's go to a bar. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. So we go to a bar, and uh, we play some pool, and then we uh, we have like a, a beer or two, nothing crazy for middle okay. of the day. Okay, okay. And then uh, we go. It can't, can't get worse from here. Honestly, it can't get worse. <laughs> uh, it can't get worse. This is going to be a great story. But uh, <laughs> we go to the back and we're smoking a cigarette, and we run into some guy. Mm -hmm. who's uh i believe he's mexican if i remember correctly he didn't speak a whole lot of english fair enough okay. and uh he was asking for money and somehow she talked him into giving her like 10 bucks i don't exactly know how it was some like David Copperfield, like, sleight of mind, uh, mind freak action or something. <laughs> These are not the droids you're looking for. So he comes yeah, up, he's like, like no, hey, can, can I get $5? And he's like, oh, here you go, honey, sorry. <laughs> something, I don't know. And then we left there and just hung out for a while. And then she's like, oh, I gotta go home. So I dropped her off, and that was the last I talked to her. Okay, all right, fair enough. Um... So I rolled through the date. I took it on the chin and then just went about my merry way. Never talked to her again? Say, no. I don't know if I've ever had a girl <laughs> that I've been dating pee in the parking lot next Yo, to me that I've that, known for a long time. That's Not weird. even dating. On a first date. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just uh, let's see how we interact. Yeah. yeah last time I've good. seen that sort of behavior was like after concerts at a, as a teenager. Yeah. Yeah. That is some. Yeah. Yeah. She was stuck in that mentality. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What a lovely Pick woman. Me up at the methadone <laughs> <clinic>. <laughs> Yeah. I have oh a penis God. and I'm not going to piss on the first date in front of you. You know? <laughs> right. 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 Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, easy oh for me and I'm not going to do it. I did go on a first date with this girl one time that we like we met at like Buffalo Are you Wild Wings. Tell the story? No, no, not that one. And uh, on, and, and we were sitting there, we were sitting there eating wings. And like she kept fiddling in her purse, and I eventually noticed that she kept popping pills. And I was finally like, <laughs> and I was finally like, like we were sitting there for a while, and I was like, I was like, oh, and she was like, oh, yeah, no, 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 it's cool. She's like, oh, you want some? And I was like, some what? Didn't even tell me what it was. She was like, you want some? And I was like, no, I'm good. So and then what? like, you didn't ask her what they were. Why I wouldn't have taken it regardless of what no, it was. Man, I gotta know. I gotta know what you're taking. I mean, she took numerous of them throughout this. Like we we had like two beers, ate some wings, and saw a movie. And she was just she was tic tacking, dude. <laughs> wow. I demand yeah. that you. I demand that you tell the other story. No. Of the girl you kicked out. <laughs> tell kicked that. Out. Uh, the fucking one with the munchies. What oh, with the munchies? Oh, the, the, the oh, I didn't kick her out. Yeah, you, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking should have. Tell the story. Tell oh, it. The, the, uh, it. Tell it. It's a. It's not. Okay, no, 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 no. It's fine. No, dude. So it, it, it's the one that I went out with a second time, right? Uh, that I tried to give her a second chance. <laughs> so there was this lady. More generous this, than I. This wasn't even from a dating site. This, is, this, this was is like. A good story. This is through like a uh, like meetup. Like I would go out like after I was uh after I split up with my ex wife, I went out to a lot of meetup groups, just social interacting, meeting people, friends, whatever. And I went to this trivia night, and I met up with this lady, and she she was a good bit older than me or whatever. And and like we had, I I had noticed she was going to the same trivia event, so I started like met like we either she messaged me or I'm, I don't remember how we we started chit chatting because we knew we were both going. So when we got there, we met up and we were hanging out and we were talking or whatever. And she had been drinking and like, uh, this was like quite a bit up North and we drove, she was like, she ended up coming back to my house and we started, uh, we started fooling around and whatever. And like all of a sudden, dude, this chick leans down 
and takes the meanest bite of my nipple that I have ever had. <laughs> like literally, like literally, Gotta give so her the much. X. <laughs> well, I was literally yeah. just like, "Ow!" I was like, "I was like, yo, chill the f out with that." And she was like, "Oh, I know you like that." And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "No, no, no, really, really, I don't like that." Like, no, you gotta chill the fuck out. <laughs> So then we're, we, I, I try to like, I recoup, you know, I kind of get going again. She does it again. And I'm like, look, yo, you got to stop. And she was like, I know you really are into it. And I'm like, I'm not into it, dude. And then so, so finally, like the third time it happens, I literally like push her, I throw her off of me and I'm, and she was just like, what? And then she like got all upset. Like, why does this always happen to me? And I was like, why does this, this always like happen to me? <laughs> right. You don't chew on my body. So anyway, she was really drunk that night. So I, so I like, I tried to like, I tried to, I was like, okay, I'll give her a second chance. So the second time we hung out, we went to this, uh, we went to this uh, piano bar and they have these drinks they're like these big, big flipping drinks that are meant for like the whole table. They come with like a rubber duck in them. They have like eight straws, obviously pre-COVID. <laughs> and we go out and like, the, this is like the first thing she orders is one of these. And I was like, oh, you got one of those? And she's like, yeah, what are you getting? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, I guess I'll have a beer. And like, I had a sip or two, like 20 minutes later, she orders a second one. These are full table drinks, dude. And like, uh, and like, so she's like, I told you I like to party. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And she's like, dude, and I, she's like 10 years older than me. So she's a grown ass woman. And like, so, so then she got like super drunk. So I just like, I knew that she was like, uh, I just like brought her back and made her pass out. <laughs> like, was just, I never talked to her. <laughs> and then like, and then like a week later, she messaged me like, you know, I just wanted to make sure that you knew that like, you know, I wasn't looking for anything serious or like, and I'm like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, don't worry about that. I was like, oh, thank God. I was worried that you were trying to take me to marriage school after this. Yeah, dude, it was cool. That she, like, she chomped hard, dude. Like, it was bad. It hurt. Oh, hard. <laughs> dude, she chomped hard for pain. Dude, it was like, I was like, girl, you need to. And then the fact that she just thought I was, like, trying to be, play coy. No, you like that. Like, oh. Nobody likes having their nipples bitten. I mean, there are people that like it, but nobody likes it. But like, even if that you do, you don't. It literally, you don't like act like it's a piece of steak, dude. It was just like, like, like. There's a difference between like difference between like a nibble and a chomp. Yeah, that's <laughs> something you need a little more finesse for. <laughs> right, the finesse exactly. move there. Yeah. Yeah, that one. What about you? What about you, TNT? It's your turn to tell a terrible uh, dating story. I don't have one, man. I'm very, very picky. Like the the first sign of a red flag, I'm I'm quick to tell a bitch to get the fuck out of my face or just like stop talking to her. So the closest thing I got is uh, the story I got with you, where I went on a date with a girl a couple times and then we went to a party and then um, when I was talking to the group of people that she had at the party, she started acting crazy. It was like, well, where the fuck you been all night? And I was like, okay. I'm going to go. <laughs> that was the end. It's just like that one moment, that one little moment of aggression that she showed me. I was like, all right, I'm out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, yeah oh, I went to that cut. party. I don't yeah, care. I was I there with you. Yeah. We were just, there, there was like 13 people sitting outside on a patio, and we were all out there talking the most, to all the people on the patio. The most diverse group. It was so fucking Austin, <laughs> Texas, dude. It was the most diverse group of people I've ever seen. People <laughs> from fucking India, white people, black people, fucking Asian people, just fucking like weirdos and fucking transients. Corporate. A lot of transients, yeah. dude. Couch surfing people, dude. Yeah, there like was it was a fucking talking dog there. I don't, I don't <laughs> know. It was, it was ridiculous. Like the diversity of friends that she had, and it was just like one little moment of aggression. Like where the fuck you been? Because I guess she expected me to be up under her asshole all night. But I was just like, you have a party. I'm entertaining your guests. And I guess she thought I was flirting with people or whatever. And there was know. a guy that laughed with the top <laughs> side of his head. It was the most, it was like, you know, like Terrence and Philip laugh, like the top of their head goes, bah, 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 bah. that's like how this guy did. He like flipped his head back and it was like, ah, bah, bah, bah. like that's how he laughed, dude. Yeah. 
like a Muppet <laughs> character. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he did, dude. It was. Yeah. That was, it was. I've like I've never seen a man laugh like that in my life. Yeah, it was cool. But uh, yeah, that's that's really the best I got. I don't go on dates with people. Like the moment I get the moment the girl would have been like, "Hey, let's go to a bar at ten o'clock in the morning." I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> but the most the reason, said, that, that clinic. Yeah, the Bethadone Clinic probably would have got me. I mean, <laughs> I was going to say, you know, it's, it's amazing what self-esteem will do to you and with the amount of women that you'll take. Because I was like, no, dude, pills, you good. Oh, you tried to rip off my titty? Oh, that's fine. <laughs> You're I'm like, hoping, I'm hoping that way. your current wife is, uh, she's a bit better than, than that one. Oh, oh no, yeah. she's cool. I'm, I met her. She's cool, dude, for sure. Yeah, she's great. That's yeah, she's yeah. How, long, how long have you guys known each other for? If you don't mind me asking. Five going on six years, I think now. Oh Holy damn! I shit, forgot, man. I didn't realize it was that long. Yeah, I met her probably a year after I moved out to Cali. Maybe not even. Oh, and I was out there for like three years. Okay, okay. And then I drug <laughs> her back here. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! Like drug her back to Hashtabula. How she? Yeah. How she like it? And uh, how she like it back home? Here in Ohio or out in Cali? Out in Ohio, how she like Ohio? She hates it in Ohio. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I could blame. Yeah, yeah. My ex wife hated Ohio too. She was like, "This place is terrible." And I'm like, "Yes, if you're not from there, it's not that great, right?" Yeah, we're gonna move out west somewhere. We just don't know where yet. Uh, that was my next question: Is like, do you plan on moving out of Ohio after? In, in yeah. Ohio I mean, if it was up to me, I'd stay here in Ohio. Because growing up, like we all have been like, "Oh, Ohio sucks. Fuck Ohio." Yeah. Everyone's hated yeah. a lot. It still gets lots of hate. But after it, my travels <laughs> of living in almost every four corners of the country by now and coming back, I'm like, no, nah, this is the spot. <laughs> this is I just don't want I snow, bro. Dude, uh, snow is what kills me. I'm staying in the Southwest. See, I like snow. It's comfortable, man. It is comfortable because we're, we're definitely used to it. But yeah, it's, just, it's trash. Oh, here, test your collar. Yeah. Maybe. So, um, I guess so. Like uh, Zach's brother and me, we uh, we we were in the same grade. We went to the same school. I actually met Zach through his brother. Mm -hmm. Um, so I I gotta ask how your brother's doing. He's still here. Is he yeah. still just here working? Yeah. All right. How, how about how's your mom and dad doing? They good? Yeah, they're good. Sweet. Yeah. Are they enjoying? They're retired, right? Fully retired, life? yeah. They, they live on a golf course now. Oh, the fucking figures, right? Uh, my dad <laughs> literally figures. like walked out his back door, take twenty steps, and he's on the fourth tee. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that he's, was, that was he's his living the, the big life, uh -huh. man. Still Hell is. yeah. So, all right, let's change gears a little bit. So, the death penalty. You know, it's a controversial topic. Uh, keep it light. Yeah, <laughs> right, <you laughs> go from down home loving to murdering people who were yeah. convicted to die. So there's a man. His name is Zane Michael Floyd. He lives in Nevada. He uh he is uh requesting that once he gets pulled to be murdered by the government, that he does it via firing squad because Nevada because he wants to be shot to death as his uh, method of execution in rather than the uh, lethal, lethal injection. injection. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they said that uh, it, he <laughs> decided to dispute that uh, execution by firing squad causes a faster and less painful death than le lethal injection. And uh, the, I, th I think the only state, no, three states, Mississippi, Oklahoma, and Utah, in the U.S. military are the only ones that still allow capital punishment by gunfire. And the last time someone was murdered by the government in the United States was in 2010 via a firing squad in Utah. So, could you be part of a firing squad that murdered a man who was sentenced to death? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do that? Well, here's the thing. With a firing squad, I don't know if you guys know how one works, but they have generally like a row of like, I don't know how many people. Like, say, yeah, yeah, people. exactly. Only one of them has an actual bullet in the gun. Oh, 
Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like it's like the nine. Of them don't, but they yeah, all yeah nine blanks fire. and one authentic. So you don't know if you murdered him or not. Yeah. So none of the people firing know whether for sure that their shot was the one that did it or whatever. It's a safeguard right. against the yeah men, the men trauma people. from murdering yeah. another human being. Yeah. yeah. And so for know, that I, reason, sure, I guess why not? And honestly, I thought that it was just like the sheer number of bullets was the reason that it ensured death. Because how do you know your one bullet is going to be the one that kills him? Exactly. What if, yeah. what if you hit him in like a non-lethal part of his body and he's just like, ah, oh, I killed yeah. Well, I'm 90% sure that uh, that they all are trained marksmen and they all aim for the head or the heart or something. And that's kind of why they... Yeah. Yeah, it's like they all aim for the exact same body part, which you know will be lethal, like shoot him in the head or shoot him like in the heart or something. And then one bullet hits... Or maybe yeah. they all shoot four shots or something, or how what if, the exact. What if that one dude pusses out and hits me in like the shoulder? Yeah, oh, he's like, guy. I want to know if I did it, and he like he shoots him in the leg instead. <laughs> <laughs> like, to be honest, they may all have bullets. I don't know for sure, but I've heard that's how it works. Yeah, yeah, that that's how it's supposed to work. From what but I honestly, heard, I think no. it would make more sense if they all had bullets. Yeah, fill me with nine bullets. If you don't know who's hitting the kill <laughs> shot or whatever, but yeah. Make yeah, sure I, I'm dead. I, <laughs> right? I, think, I, I don't know, man. I don't even know how I feel about the death penalty in general. I mean, I, I feel I feel like, you know, if you're <laughs> murdering people, like, if they sentence you to death, like, I kind of understand. But at the same time, isn't it worse to have to sit there and, like, lull in all that stuff you did? Especially, I mean, some people, if you're a sociopath or, like, a crazy person and don't care and enjoyed murdering, then you don't care anyway. But, you know, people who kill people by accident or in a fit of rage that, you know, that authentically are like, oh, God, I messed up. This sucks. It's worse to sit there and pine over it than to just get killed over it almost. I'm not an advocate for Hammurabi's Code, which is like eye for an eye. So if you like you, you shoot somebody, they get to shoot you. You kill somebody, you get to die for it. But, you know, I feel like it is what it is, man. Whatever your state has in, in place is what it is. And I think that the that death should be 100% a penalty for some high crimes. If you're out here touching kids, yeah, guess what? You deserve to die for that. Sorry. <laughs> and that's and that's interesting because they don't put people to death for, for, for doing kids stuff. Yeah, well, they probably fucking should. Then people oh, might yeah. not do it as much. Yeah, and I think I think you make a great point. I think the, the, the penalty being available is important because it's always like if you are going to do something that's really messed up, like it should, it should cross your mind. Like, wow, if I get caught, they might kill me for this. As a deterrent, but a lot of times those people are suicidal as well, and they they realize that that's a that that's a problem or that that that's possibility, and they're too pussy to kill themselves. So why not just make a name for myself? Death by yeah. cop. Yeah, that's why those people do that now. They will go out and like shoot people, hoping that the cops come and kill them in a fit of. In a fit of a, uh, you know, well, not fit of it's, rage it, or for them, it's like killing two birds with one stone. I want to die, and I also want to kill a bunch of people. So let me go out here and kill a bunch of people and get that adrenaline rush, put that shit right in my veins, and then, yeah, pr I'll probably die. Yeah, well, it's kind of interesting too because a lot of people who get sentenced to death sit on death row forever. Before they actually get, ex I mean, they've only ex I mean, obviously, like the last president executed a slew of people real quick, but before that, it, it's very, very sparingly that people actually get put to death. Yeah, it's, a, it's yeah, nowadays it's a lot less common of a. It really is. It's really a sign is. of the times are changing. <laughs> so, how even do you when we were kids, I remember them doing it way more often. I do too, mm -hmm. and that wasn't I, that long ago. I don't know. Was it in Ohio back back then? Yeah, I think it still is. Yeah, they, okay. it, it was the electric chair back then. Okay, yeah. It's not in all the states, but I know it is in a select few. Yeah, I, this, more and more states have outlawed it for sure, because it's like it's deemed like inhumane now. How, how do you want to go out, Zach? If you had a choice, how do you want to go out? I don't know. By my own hands, I guess. By my own hands? What about that? 
plan anyways. I've always planned on killing myself before I'm too old and feeble to do it. Do you wonder, like, is it diabetes or what? No, come on. I want no, to that's, that, I, I, I feel you, dude. If you become to the point where you're, like, too much a burden and you're just like, you know what? I can't even, like, live a yeah, life. I'm, that like, is. 90, barely able to move and shuffle around and dependent on other people. <laughs> yeah, I'm off at myself at that point. That's yeah, the Hunter S. Thompson approach. You're like, yeah. I'm old. I'm not anywhere near the person I used to be. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, how, how would you do it? I don't know. Just a gun. I feel like a gunshot to the head. If you're gonna, if you're gonna take it, probably yourself. be the quickest and easiest. Drug overdose might be better though. Mm. So yeah, something like know. heroin, you just fill yourself full of it, and you're just like, oh, this is great. Then you fall asleep, and that's a wrap. <laughs> your, your dog is auto, uh, trying to have uh -huh. an intervention with you right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like, do it. He's like, look, homie, chill out. Yeah, <laughs> right. Really yeah, I mean, I guess like heart attack via sex would be a decent way to go out. Like if you're like having sex and like, I mean, it would be very traumatic for the no, partner. Heart attacks with, are but, painful, like, whether you like whether you like it or not. Is that the way yeah. you want to go out? Is heart attack during sex? No, no, no. You want to uh, put that? I mean, there's definitely worse ways to go. I mean, fair. yeah. <laughs> you want to put, put that on the partner? Like the girl who is having sex with you at that time is gonna be like, I fucking killed somebody with my pussy. You want to be that guy? I'm a girl. Oh my God. Is it a girl I you mean... care about or not? <laughs> oh my God. I guess. I don't know. She's still gonna have to live the rest of her life knowing that she killed somebody. She's gonna. Yeah, have to it sounds therapy. like somebody else's problem to me. <laughs> oh Jesus. That's, that's, that's my fucking. That's my Zach. That's him. <laughs> that's him. <laughs> That sounds like somebody else's. <laughs> Speaking of other people's problems, so there was a. Uh, this is a, this story is kind of older, but I are found you, it and I never knew that this happened. Are you so changing like, the I, subject on me, motherfucker? <laughs> I was segueing into another story, but I mean, sure, no, feel free, feel free, it, feel now free. you ruined the segue. <laughs> yeah. no, pretty, it was pretty segue. smooth. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, I mean, we've been doing this a while. I've tried to try to. <laughs> I know. Go ahead. My go old thing was used to be like, "Tees and tees, you ever go to a store before?" He'd be like, "No, Jonas, I've never been to a store before. What I happened?" Was I was liking the whole. <laughs> I, how would you kill yourself, Meta? Though I, I'm not gonna lie. But go ahead. Feel free. Uh, so. You know how, like, sometimes at schools, you know, they put together little little home DVDs or video montages of different things that have happened during the school year. Oh, little, here's little Timmy's school play, and here's when we did the human chess game, and da 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 Well, they, uh, they put one out, and uh, the, the fifth grade teacher who was putting it together uh, accidentally included part of her sex tape on the DVD and sent it out to all the students. <laughs> Whoa. And they and they didn't notice until it got home and whatever. And uh, it looks like she didn't get in a lot of trouble. But like it was, it was like a uh, yeah. They she accidentally uh, they said in the middle of like one of the recitals or something, it just swapped to like a sex tape of the teacher. And this is like an elementary school on top of it. <laughs> 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 How did she get out of this unscathed? That's my question. She must have just been really nice, dude. They said, uh, turned out to be her. She said all she could say was it, uh, she was a, it was a horrible mix up. And she goes, it's, fe and here's the part I don't get. The defense expert said it's a, it's felony stupid, but it's not a crime. And I'm like, it kind of is a crime, right? No. It's, no. If it's intentional, it's a crime. The crime is in the intention. Like if oh, she was I like, guess I want to show my vagina to a bunch of school students, then yeah, that's a crime. But like in a, unintentionally doing it, she doesn't like, know oh. how to use Windows Movie Maker appropriately and forgets to cut that part out of the video. Yeah, how flipping traumatizing to the teacher and the kids. Like with like, oh my god, dude. Have have, have any of you ever made a sex tape? No, I don't. Jonas think I is going to say no. Zach is going to say yes, one hundred percent. Don't know. Get the fuck out of here. Have. Shut no. the fuck up, Pam. I would say yes. You're going <laughs> to say yes because I know it's a yes. But I don't know. He's like, I don't okay. still have it. If that's well, the yeah, <laughs> look, well, one was ever made. It's long gone by now. Fine. If you two are going to be too pussy to say it, I'll say it right now. I've one hundred percent made a sex tape before. <laughs> And I'm going to tell you a story about how it got caught. 
Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. I mean, I was going to indulge about what I was talking about, but yes, you can go ahead. I mean, this is, this is pretty much it's on the same note. Fine. I yeah, absolutely. No, no, it's fine. I'll let you I'm be like the first one to spill the guts on that. telling old stories anyway about ourselves. All right. So um, you guys remember when I was seeing a certain young lady, I'm just going to say her name is Lily. Okay. Sure. You should know. You, you don't remember her? You don't remember Our memory her? memory don't work too well. No? <laughs> My memory don't work too well, he says. How, how about the name Fred Wayne? All right, so I was, <laughs> I, was I was fucking with Lily, and um, me and her decided to make a sex tape. At the time, I was probably about 17, 18 years old. Oh, my God. So you weren't even, like, of age at this time. You were, like, children. 17, 18. But regardless, um, I had borrowed a video camera from my father that Whoops. he used. Pardon? <laughs> I said, whoops. <laughs> whoops. That he used to tape church events. Okay. <laughs> so, oh just, man. Okay. I, All right. I've been through a lot of church in my life, so he would tape church events on this. Um, I borrowed the videotape or video camera. We taped the event as it happened, me and this young lady, and I kept the video camera in the tr in the trunk of my car. Unbeknownst okay. to me, my father and mother were looking for the video camera. Didn't bother to ask me where it was but check the trunk of my vehicle. Ooh. <laughs> Found the camera. And uh, you know what? Honestly, they didn't even bring it up. But I know that the camera was gone and that it was back where it belonged. And I'm like, they definitely watched my sex tape. <laughs> or at least, like... I mean, at least, like, figured out what it was. Yeah, and like, oh, like, God. I wonder what's on this. And they they saw me have it. It was probably the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. I'm sure it was embarrassing for them because, like I said, they never really brought it up. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah I mean, like, what, what are they really going to say? Like, it's like it has to be so awkward to bring that up to your kid. Like, oh, yeah, by the way, yeah. I accidentally saw you yeah, slamming like, your girlfriend. Like, It's like one part of them is like, this is, you shouldn't be doing this shit. The other part is, well, at least he's fucking girls. Um, <laughs> wow! Like, I don't know. I don't know. What do you call it? Pops me? out as a homophobe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was a church guy, so you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I uh, no. I I know for a fact. I have never made a sex tape of me like any sort of sex with myself. I've definitely done like I, photos. Sex with yourself is a totally different no, subject. You know what I mean? Sex with anyone else. But I have taken photos of people and stuff. Like, but and okay. I think I've actually taken videos of people. But it wasn't like of me and them. It was maybe you never in the act. It's never no. In the mm -mm. No, I'm not even like a D pick guy, dude. Like, I don't know if I've ever even sent D pics to anybody. No, I've definitely done that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Lots of that. I'll send you one right now. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever wants. Yeah, hang on a second. It. Yeah, let me get my phone like preloaded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like do you have wait, do you have glamour shots of your dick that you have preloaded to send out just in case no. you ever ask? No. <laughs> you know, he's been, he's been with the thing. same girl for six years now. We deleted all the glamour shots he oh, had. That's dude. fair. That's fair. But I still keep like some of the best angles. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because your penis doesn't change, change over time, so I guess. <laughs> wait, what? Say what? She has the best angle, the real yeah. life angle. Yeah, yeah, like, well, but your baby, in your case, it's like, you know, like, you always on dating profiles see people like, that girl, that ain't you, that ain't you now, that's you 10 years ago, but your penis don't change much. So if you have a penis shot that was good for 10 years ago, <laughs> like, you're, you're not like, wrong. <laughs> like, nothing you, I that glamour shot. Do. Yeah, I, <laughs> how I feel you. I don't know if I really know what my dick looked like 10 years ago, to be honest. I would imagine pretty much similar. Yeah, like, look at it right you? now, and that's what it looked like 10 years ago. No, no, no. <laughs> Is Maybe it growing, it like growing horns and stuff? Like, it doesn't change that much. Yeah. <laughs> like, how no. much has your penis changed since you were, like, 18? I don't know. I figure, like, it's, like, looser. <laughs> looser. <laughs> what does that even mean? Like, it's a little <laughs> saggier, you know. Like, <laughs> saggier. Like, skin's not as taut as it was before. I don't think that's how that works, but sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't Sure thing. Sure, yeah, exactly. I think yeah, it's like, like you, you said, know, like the gradual change, like when you lose like twenty pounds, you don't notice the difference. 
But somebody that saw your dick then and saw your dick now be like, hey, your dick for us. Find your girlfriend from when you were 18 and be like, girl, how does this does this look different? I'm not going yeah, to. Yeah, let me go uh, really. find my high school ex <laughs> and uh, give her a call. You're like, do you mind if I send you a picture? I'm just trying to do a comparison. Like, I just want to know, <laughs> is it better now or weird, is it better but, then? Uh, there you go. <laughs> Does it look the same to you? <laughs> Can you pick it out of a lineup? Because I'm feeling very insecure about the state <laughs> of my Johnson. I was just going to say, send a series of shots. Like, pick this out of a lineup. Which one's me? <laughs> <laughs> was it that memorable that you know what it is? Or... <laughs> A series of shots. Yeah, that's funny. That's funny. That's yeah, dude. Oh, I'm glad I'm not yeah. the only one. All right, where were you actually going to take this story? What are you going to say is that she should be fired and tarred? And oh no, I was just. I just thought it was crazy that like. But here's the thing: like, as someone who edits videos sometimes, like, if I was putting numerous things together, especially for like a school audience or something, you wouldn't watch through the final product. You would think like, you would. Like, yeah, like, wouldn't you want to make sure that it didn't mess up or that, like, it looked right or you didn't forget to put a scene in and then all of a sudden you're like, oops, there's me getting slammed by Tony. <laughs> I, look, I have never been slammed by anybody named Tony. All right, I'm going to put that out there <laughs> first off. Fair, fair. I don't know. Like, uh, you know, like I said, criminal stupid, but not criminal. Yeah, I'm still wondering how she didn't at least get fired for this. Yeah. Because yeah. I guarantee if that teacher was male and he accidentally let his sex tape, you know he's going down. He's he's get, at least take, losing a job. This guy, my my guess it. is that she probably removed herself from the school district at a point because she's like, everybody knows her as the teacher from the sex tape. She like moved to another state or something. <laughs> uh, if she's she smart. He makes a valid point with the fact that if you were male, it would have been it would have been different. I I agree with that. Would they have automatically assumed it was on purpose? I don't think they would have automatically assumed, but I think they would have prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Is yeah. what it is. Like whatever Making punishment they could have given him, firing squad, if it, if the case may be. <laughs> We would have got that. that's a callback right there. Just well, I'm just no. Well, I'm trying to play devil's advocate here. Is it is it the thought process of a woman would never share her own sex tape where a man wants people to see it? Well, oh. I don't know. You know. Or is it just that men are considered deviants and that they would prosecute him because he would be like, oh, he's into kids I and think he should that's be far more closer to the the nail on the head there and and i think it's a little column a a little column b i think it's uh, uh the intentions when when you're a male the intentions are considered to be far more 100 percent. and uh i don't know it's just more <laughs> unacceptable like yeah, i've definitely yeah, well i've definitely known like a guy who has sex with a girl who is 18, like if somebody our age were to have sex with somebody who's 18, we'd look at him like, yo, fam, what are you doing? That's kind of disgusting. But if it was okay. a woman who does it, they're called a cougar. Now, who, uh, what's the name of a guy who has sex with young women? Of creeper? Age, but, yeah, a fucking creep. <laughs> they're disgusting. You know, we look down right. upon them. But a cougar is looked at as like, hey, I found a cougar. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Well, and I guess also, like, if you think about like revenge porn, I would say a good majority, not all, most revenge porn is men revenging on women. It isn't like a woman has a sex tape with a dude and she's like, "Oh, I'm gonna show this out to people because of X, Y, Z." Like, so if if porn gets leaked of a person, two two amateurs having sex, most of the time, the woman is the one that has everything to lose from it. Like, it isn't going to, like, negatively affect the man nearly as much as, like, the woman, I think. Yeah. I don't know if the stereotype's necessarily justified, but... Well, right, absolutely. I mean, if it, you revenge porn, yeah. It, it, it 100%, I mean, it, it kind of is that men tend to be a little bit more deviant, but no. I, don't, I don't know if it's justified. Do you not agree? <laughs> of course I agree. No. <laughs> Are you a deviant yeah. yourself? I'm male, aren't I? <laughs> Oh, he's, embrace, he's embracing the stereotype. 
Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. You're part of the problem, Zach. Right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, t- uh, TNT over there. You got any of uh, any any things you want to throw in before we wrap things up here, shortly? I mean, I told you about my parents finding my sex tape. I don't know what more I can give you at this point. <laughs> that was a real story. <laughs> I've I refuse, and my, I've talked to my mom since then. We've had like some serious conversations. I'm not bringing that shit up to her. I'm yeah, like I'm trying it. to think if there's anything from like my childhood that I want that like I've never brought up to my mom just because it's like such an awkward. It would be so awkward for her that I'm just like, we'll just leave it. You ever we'll had just... sex in your mom's bed? No. Yes. Uh-uh. I, knew, I knew he did, dude. Guess what? So have I. And most of most in, of my in Zach's kids. mom's bed, you had sex in Zach's mom's bed too. <laughs> he has to think about it, dude. <laughs> I mean, we were pretty close. We were close back in the day. I don't think so. No, I don't think I ever had sex in Zach's house. Yeah, well, not I, I never did. Not that I'm aware of. No, me and you had sex in there tons of times. But... <laughs> oh, well, yeah. That's not what we're talking about, though. That's something different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude i don't yeah i don't know if there's anything i've never not like i haven't brought up to my mom that would just be so awkward like yeah i've definitely yeah. had sex in my i had sex in my mom's bed one time and my brother dave <laughs> <laughs> he fucking what? caught me uh, you having uh, sex yeah what are you doing in there <laughs> he, did, dude. he caught Can me i did you get out like, of here? I was like, dude, you're not going to tell on me. He was like, I'm not saying anything. I just can't believe you were doing that shit. I was like, please just don't say anything. <laughs> He's like, I can't believe you were having sex with a woman. <laughs> yeah, he said it was a woman. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. yeah. It was. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anything yeah. else, uh, Zach, that you uh, want to want to touch on before we wrap things up here? No, nah, not that I can think of. All right. Yo, um, do you still talk to uh, a dude I used to live with in PA? Yes. Do you? How is he doing, man? He's good. Good. Also, uh, getting married. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> yeah. Uh... You guys are lame. We're, we're old. Man, I don't mean nah, shit. Dude. I'm just as fucking old as you motherfuckers, and I'm not even thinking about it. We got like a couple years I... on you. Oh yeah, you nah. think in a couple years I'm about to change these views? No, I'm stuck. No, nah, I, I did that ways. marriage thing, and I had one, and I'm good. I got out my system. I'm like, rest of my life's gonna be fun. Yeah, honestly, I had no plans on getting married. <laughs> uh, you I, like, every girl way. I ever date, I tell them right off the bat, like first date. Like, if you're planning on getting married, I'm not the guy. <laughs> if you want, <laughs> if you want this to end in marriage at some point, it's not me. You should tell um, them after you try to hook up with them, because that, that usually. No, I tell him right off the bat. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, he's an open book. You always yeah. struck me as though as as one of those type of guys that was like you've always been like a one woman type of guy. I don't cheat. Um, you know, yeah, like it's not uh, me that has the cheating problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all the uh it's all the past exes. <laughs> yeah. And I just mean it's that that's always been a part of like who you were. And that's I mean, that's indicative of what makes a good husband. At least to like a, a female who's looking for one. Like yeah, you've always had the moral, the morality is, uh, of, of a good, good first husband. step there. I'm sorry, what? I said, yeah, usually not cheating is a good first first step. Yeah, I mean, but I'm just saying <laughs> that you've always had the morality of a person. Like you've always checked all the boxes that would make an ideal husband. Yeah, um, but you you've never really looked for marriage, so it's just no. it's. I don't know, man. I'm, I am. I'm definitely proud of you for finding somebody that means that much to you that you can you can feel like you, you want to do that. That's beautiful. And just willing. And I hope everything yeah. works out. Yeah. Is your brother you married yet? <laughs> sure. sure. Speaking, sure. Speaking of not having sex in their parents' bed, <laughs> is he married to his PC? Let's put it this way: this guy just bought like dice. That were a hundred dollars made out of crystal the other day. Crystal? Crystal. The what band. kind? Like Swarovski. I don't know. <laughs> is he married to the refrigerator? What? <laughs> I said, oh, wow. Is he married to the refrigerator? Yeah, you know, definitely. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Just wanted to know. Just want everybody All right. to know that your boy didn't lost like fifty pounds. You see this? You see oh, that? You see that? that? 
Yeah. He's getting there. <laughs> He's getting there. <laughs> about the same. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, everybody, that is all the time that we have for today's episode. I want to thank Zach for joining us as a special guest host. Yeah. Uh, and please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, TheCrazyTown.com takes us straight to our YouTube channel. Subscribe there or on Spotify, iTunes, all that other stuff. So uh, for Jonas. TNT. And, and for Zach. Zach. <laughs> we are out.